Hello guys, welcome back. So at this point of time, we have uh, set the serial number for the same dot .ovf file, and uh, we have also set the system ID. So in this video, we will proceed further to add the second node into the cluster. As we can see, we are inside the VLoader console. So type boot and hit enter to proceed further. So now it's asking for press control C. So just press control C for the boot menu and it will give us uh, eight options from where we need to proceed further. So we need to type uh, four for clean configuration and initialize all disk. So type four and uh, hit enter. So now it's asking whether we want to zero disk type yes. This will release all disk on the disk. Are you sure? Yes. So now again it will reboot the entire node. And I will be pausing the recording here. Welcome back. Since the last step, many configuration has happened on its own. And no user intervention was required till this point. So at this point of time, it's asking to do the node uh, setup, but uh, we will be doing the node setup as a part of con cluster configurations. So at this point of time, we just have to type uh, exit and then hit enter. Now it's asking to log in, give the admin, and it's will directly go to the cluster console. At this point of time, we have to add this node to the existing cluster that is cluster 02. So execute the command cluster setup. Sorry for the typo. It's a cluster setup. Now it's asking do you want to create a new cluster or join an existing cluster? So obviously we want to join it. So type join and hit enter. Now the many similar steps will happen as it happened while initializing the first uh, node. So I will be doing it very quickly at this point of time. It's asking to cluster the network ports. It had selected E0A and E0B. I will go with that. Now it's uh, saying that no cluster were discovered. It's obvious because uh, our cluster 02 is in a suspended state. So let me bring this up and then we will try it again. Let me log in to the cluster one thing we need to get it from here that cluster management uh, IP so here we can see that our cluster management is uh, 15.200 let's go back to the node uh, 2 and uh, it's asking that the uh, IP address of an interface on the private cluster network so the IP is well, let's see this works okay it's uh, detected the cluster that is cluster 02 so let me type it uh, once again cluster 02 hit enter now it's joining the cluster cluster 02 so again few setups will happen on its own and we don't have to intervene here so now it's asking the node management interface port and it has selected e0c so i will go with that enter the node management interface ip address now it's asking the node management interface IP address that would be 192.168.15.204 netmask it would be the same that is has been selected default gateway I will leave it as blank now it's asking to set up auto support configurations and we no need to set up it here so instead of going further I will just uh, hit uh, enter to continue and now we can see that uh, this node has been joined to the cluster cluster 02 in order to verify we can uh, execute the command cluster show to see all the nodes so as we can see here we can see the two nodes node 1 and node 2 and if we execute network interface show then we will be seeing the ip address of uh, node 1 and node uh, do. That's all for this video. If you have any question, please comment, do subscribe and again, thank you for watching.